God is going to be speaking to, into our lives. And by God's grace, I'm the prophet, apostle, king, Hosein. Break your Bibles with me to the book of Revelation chapter 22, verse 12. Let's go there. And behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me to give to everyone according to how his work is. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to speak to ministers today, and I want to start by saying this, that ministry is not by force. Ministry is not by force. When we check all over social media, you see different kind of things happening, different kind of news. You see news of ministers going to, into the public realms, going to the, going through the public means, just so that they can acquire power, just so that their church can be fed up. Listen to me. Ministry is not by force. It is not mandatory that you must exhibit power in ministry. Listen to me, ministry, there are different dimensions of ministry. I'm speaking to the minister today and I believe that this world is going to impact our lives greatly. Listen to me, there are different dimensions in ministry. You might not be in the dimension of power, but be in the dimension of the world. You might not be in the dimension of power, but God is calling you into the dimension of the world. That when you share the world, lives are transformed. Needs are met. Youths youth begin to receive hope and direction for their life. You might not even be in the dimension of power, but being the dimension, perhaps you are in the dimension of counseling. God is using you to counsel you. God is using you to speak to married couples. God is using you to speak to single ladies, single men. And God is using you to be impactful. What is important in ministry, in ministry, is your impact. The impact you are making in whatever dimension that you are, be impactful. It is not necessary that you must call names and call phone numbers. You must prophesy before you make it in ministry. That is the idea that many people have that are destroying so many ministers today. Listen to me. Remain in where God called you. What is the dimension that God called you? Who did God call you to be? Did he call you, did he call you to be a prophet? Then remain in that dimension. Did he call you to, to 